Okay, all right. Greetings and salutations. My name is Comic Fire, and welcome back from Orkins. How was Shoujo? In the last episode, the dark-haired chick ran out, and Misha was like, "What's wrong?" And now let's tell her. Do I look as a, as uneasy as I feel, or was Misha just looking at looking at me, looking after the girl who left? Nah, nothing. Okay. Well, we were like asking. You don't have any plans for lunch today, do you? I thought I would go to the library and pick up some books. Not really. Do you want to have lunch together, then? Sure. Yay! <laughs> okay, Hitchan. Perfect. The rest of class passes uneventfully. The girl with the long hair never came back. Before I had the time to put in more thought to where she could have gone, the teacher informs us that it's time to stop working. Jizune looks a little, more than a little annoyed that we only barely managed to finish all our work on time. I'm just glad we finished it all. It's not a contest or anything. Yes, it is, Hitchan. Impossible. Really? Really. I've noticed this before, but it's kind of funny how Misha always is always moving her hands and signing out every only thing she says, but what anyone else is saying at any given time. And obviously, it must be so Shizune can understand it. Her eyes start back and forth between Misha's hands and me. I don't know who I'm supposed to be looking at. I'm talking to Misha, but that might be wrong. Maybe she face Shizune. I'm used to looking in the direction of the person whose voice I'm hearing, but really... Shizune can't hear me, but it'd be disrespectful to talk to her only through Misha. Then again, isn't that what she's doing? No, she's at least looking at me. And, ah, this is all very confusing, and it'll take some time to get used to. It's not a contest, because contests are competitions over a prize. If there's no prize on the line, it's not really a contest. Shizune's eyes flash dangerously with a competitive glare. She stares at me as if I'm surprised that I'm challenging her. I think that maybe this is a contest to her. Never noticed how dark and blue her eyes are. It's truly an Illyrian gaze. Are you sure, Hitchan? Very sure. <laughs> You're wrong, Hitchan, because I don't want to be the slowest one in the class. Therefore, what's on the line is my confidence in my abilities, and the prize is the satisfaction of proving them. <laughs> Shizune pushes her glasses up the bridge of her nose in a very matter-of-fact way. I'd argue more, but the bell rings, and she quickly gets up and picks up her bag, looking at me expectantly. I almost forgot I was supposed to have lunch with them. Where do you want to eat? The cafeteria? <laughs> that's so plain. Okay, let's go! Plain? Well, I guess. In my old school, I liked to eat outside near the back of the building. It was a good spot, but I didn't find it until near the end of my freshman year. I wonder if there's a similar place to eat here. Misha seems to imply as much. Shizune and Misha pull me towards the cafeteria, which is surprisingly not packed. Maybe some students favor eating in a classroom or outdoors. I saw some of my classmates have box lunches. And after we finish eating, Misha picks up where we left earlier. So, Hichan, you wanted to know about club stuff, right? Right? Right, Hichan. Okay, I guess it makes sense to ask first. Exchanging little nods of confirmation, they turn to face me again, and Misha straightens her posture as if she's about to deliver a speech. Hey, Chan, do you have anything you're really interested in? I used to play soccer, but I'm not really into it. I don't follow the teams and players or anything like that. As of late, I just usually read a lot. Hmm, there is a book club, right, Hey, Chan? Right, but it seems like they have all the members they can possibly have right now. Sorry, Hey, Chan. It's like a really popular club. Okay, but more to the point, Hitchan, does this mean you don't have, already, you don't have anything already in mind? No, not really. Good. Great. That's great, Hitchan. Really great. <laughs> Why is it so great? No reason. Well, Hitchan, other than clubs and the upcoming festival, there is one other thing. Student Council! I see. Do you know the school? The school had a student council. It's a very melodramatic setup, though, just to tell me that. Pretty sure that the two of them know this, because Shizune looks a little embarrassed about it, and Misha is laughing. Shizune quickly retakes control of the discussion, in a manner of speaking. After all, it's still Misha who has to voice whatever she says. Haha, <laughs> right? Right? Hmm. Right. Hitchon, maybe you should join the student council. They could use more people. Yes, definitely. You should definitely join. Why? Well, for one, we can hang out every day, Hitchan. Shichan and I are both in the student council. Actually, Shichan is the president. I'm 
starting to get the suspicion that Shizune and Misha might not exactly be the most unbiased people to talk about this with. As I've read in my mind, Shizune quickly adjusts her glasses and signs something to Misha. <laughs> of course, we're not trying to get you to join just because we would obviously benefit from you joining the student council and therefore have an incentive to try and get you to... So you're admitting that... Uh, no. We admit nothing. I mean, they're trying to of course it would be nice if you joined and we'd appreciate it. But even without all that, joining the student council shows a healthy interest in the workings of one school. Yep, it's true, Hitchan. Besides, don't you want to spend time with us after school, Hitchan? I can't tell if this, she's being genuine or this is really good acting. Both of them seem to be trying hard to look their cutest, although they're already pretty cute to begin with. Well... So it's settled then. Welcome to the student council, Hitchan. What? No. No! Aw, oh, see, Shichan. Of course it wouldn't go so easily. Yep, that's right, though, because it would be boring if it went that smoothly. Oh, well. Shichan owes me candy now. You were betting on it? Hey! My life is not a game here! Shizune seems very intrigued by this when Misha signs it to her. That aggressive glint returns to her eyes. <laughs> that's interesting, Hitchan. Let's play a game. That's not what I said. How about rich man, poor man, Hitchan? If you lose, you have to join the student council. No. Absolutely not. Aw, why not? Well, because you both have the same invent incentive, and therefore the same goal, which is to get me to join the student council, right? Yep. Yeah, that is my goal. But what this means is that both of you can team up, and I'll be at a clear disadvantage, so I'm going to have the decline. Hitchan, I'm very offended. Are you saying that you don't trust us and that we pull something so d dis in genu us? Uh, that makes me sad. Sorry? It's hard to tell where Sh Shizune's influence ends and Misha's thoughts begin. In order to atone for hurting a young girl's feelings, you should definitely join the student council. Wow! How about a game of paper football instead of rich man, poor man? Paper football? Yeah, it's a game they play in America. You make a paper triangle, and then you try to shoot it past the goalpost that the other player makes with their fingers. Isn't it cool? It's like the ultimate form of competition between two people, Hitchan. And it's also played by elementary and middle school children, Shichan. Wah! <laughs> that means it's a game that really separate the boys from the men. More like the boys from the, uh, slightly older boys. Anyway, I'm not gonna play that either. Just the fact you know about it means you're probably surprisingly good at it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's true. How'd you know, Hitchan? Shizune frowns at Misha, telling me she probably wasn't supposed to admit that so readily. Wouldn't say I'm being that I'm happy with her attempts to get me the student council, but I'm a little curious about what it does here. I've never been on one before, or even known anybody who was a member, so it interests me. I also kind of like Shizune and Misha, so maybe it wouldn't be so bad. Okay, Hitchan, how about Risk? The game of world domination! I don't know what that is. It's really fun, Hitchan. You fight for control of the world with armies and everything. Sounds like Shizune would be good at it. If you want to play, we can't after school. Aw, oh, really, Shichan? We can play just for fun, Hitchan. Shichan hasn't played in a long time, so if you want to, there's no strings attached. <sighs> well, alright. Okay, okay, okay. Perfect! We'll see you after school in the student council room then, Hitchan. Wait, why there? Because that's where we keep the game. I grimace to tell them how much I don't like this, but it's more for show than anything else. So in the end, I agree, but only after getting Shizune to acknowledge that I don't mean anything concrete just by accepting to take a look around and play a game with her. Lunch ends, and we go back to class. During afternoon classes, the long-haired girl comes back and sits down in her seat without a word. Again, no one seems to notice, or if they do, no one says anything. I, I want to ask Misha about it, but I don't want to be nosy. After school, Shizune and Misha quickly find me on the first floor lobby and latch onto me, covering each flank in case I might try to escape. I feel a little offended, but I've been considering it. Nevertheless, I'm a bit disturbed that people that enough people have made a break for it in the past that they're on their guard. Uh, what's with the escort? Doesn't make me feel very comfortable. In fact, it makes me feel like a dangerous prisoner being transported to a cell. <laughs> what's wrong, Hitchan? That's right, we're just gonna go play a game of Risk, remember? I don't know, Misha. It all seems a little sinister to me. 
start thinking that when we sit down to play the game, that they'll tie me down and torture me till I agree to join the student council. Well, that's highly unlikely, but, uh, still, for some reason it seems like it would be so plausible. Getting the student council room is as simple as turning two corners from where we started. <laughs> Wait, that's it? This makes you guys being so on top of me so silly. That's not true, Hitchan. Shichan says that when a life is threatened, people have shown the capability to pull a superhuman burst at speed. Life is threatened? Her expression unchanging, Misha sighs something immediately to Shizune, who makes a baffling face and puts her hand behind her back, looking pleased with herself. <laughs> Misha feigns deafness and hums cheerily. Stop that, I know you heard me. You have no excuse, unlike Shizune. Shizune opens the door to the student council room. It's a very plain, sparsely decorated room, although it's quite large, maybe a little larger than the classroom. It's a big table in the center surrounded by chairs, and a smaller desk prominently placed in the back that I assume is Shizune's. There's a few regular desks and stairs, chairs stacked to one side as well. Extras, perhaps? Aside from the tables and chairs, the room doesn't have much else to offer, just a couple of filing cabinets and bookshelves stacked with old school records and documents. Not much else. In fact, nothing else. It's a pretty bleak room. You could at least put a potted plant in here or something. But the most noticeable thing is this room doesn't have other people. Are we early? No. What do you mean, no? Does it mean no one else is coming today? Yeah, that's right. Before I manage to ask why that's the case, Shizune claps her hands together very energetically. Hitchan, let's play Risk! Come on, you promised, didn't you? You have to! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Do you want to know the rules? I can explain it to you why we set everything up. While Misha is talking, Shizune takes out what looks like a board game from behind one of the filing cabinets and throws it on the table. Actually, this looks kind of interesting. After Misha spends a little too long for her liking running through the basics with a somewhat vague and confusing tutorial, Shizune cuts in and declares the game has started with a decisive motion, slicing her arm through the air. Shizune's aggressiveness is rubbing off onto me, and I start feeling more competitive than I intend to be when I agreed to this. Halfway into the game, while I try to ponder how to defend against Shizune's assault from two fronts, she breaks my concentration by drumming her fingers on the table to get my attention. Hitchan, Shichan wants you to know that you're taking too long to make a move. Shichan also says she will let you keep Australia if you would join to agree to the student council. If you agree to join the student council, did I just say that? I don't know. I thought this was a game with no strings attached. Just the fact that she would dangle it over my head as an offer means that she knows I care about the outcome of this game. Anyway, no! Shichan admires your fighting spirit and will be a benevolent dictator who will spare your people if you agree to join the student council. Shizune. Seems to take this as a compliment. I would expect the student council president to be a little more magna magnanimous. Magnanimous? Magnanimous. Why have I never had to pronounce that word myself? Jeez, I feel stupid. I pride myself on having a nice vocabulary, which is even worse. She doesn't seem to know what the word means or how it signs, so she pulls out a piece of paper and writes it for Shizune, who in return signs it back to Misha. Misha presses her index fingers against her temple, as if trying to physically imprint the word into her memory. Suddenly, Shizune bursts into a flurry of gestures. Misha looks daunted by the pace of her heated signing. Wait, slow down please, Hit Shichan. Hitchan, Shichan says you're going to lose! Tell her I will crush my her world empire with my rebellion. Uh, okay. Those eyes of her shine with childlike mischief. She says you have no chance if you keep playing like this. No, you won't. <sighs> well, in the words of Admiral Akbar, it's a trap, so let's play defensively here. It's likely she's just trying to psych me out. Looking at the board again, I have a pretty good fence setup, but I'm not going to wreck it doing something Ralph. Reckless. <laughs> a few turns later, I lose the game anyway. Shizune adjusts her glasses victoriously and allows herself to tentatively pump a fist in the air in celebration. Chad, you lost or do you allow me to take North America? I mean, Chichan, not me. Getting control of North America is ambitious, because it provides a five-army bonus, but you can attack from three fronts, so you must defend them all. I thought you'd have more guts. How disappointing. Ambition, Hitchan! Your plan needs to be more daring! Ambition! Ambition! I think I'm slipping on her voice. 
I was really excited when he took South America. But then he switched to playing defensively just because you gained a small advantage. That's no good, Hitchan. You didn't take enough risks, and when you did, you didn't follow through. It's terrible, Hitchan. Damn, what's it to her if I play too carefully? I don't need to rub it on my face. I'd wonder if he'd be any good for this student council. What's this, reverse psychology? I guess I don't have to worry about joining or not in that case. Giving up just like that? I expected more of you. Seriously, she's doing just trying to taunt me into joining the council? Besides, I don't even want to join. It's only my second day. You can't make that kind of commitment. I haven't even taken a look at any other clubs yet, and these two, they're a little weird. <sighs> Fine. I'll consider joining the council, but I want to take a look at clubs before I decide. Really, Hitchan? You're not just saying that to make us feel better? Yeah, yeah, I'm just not sure that I want to. Aww. Okay, Hachan, but we're not going to give up so easily. You said maybe, so there's still a chance you'll come around. Come on, we could really have fun, we could play more Risk, and maybe one day you could beat me, unless we graduate before that. Unless we'd be feeling less reluctant about joining, you know. It's <laughs> surely not that horrible at board games. Maybe you could play a game you know then to give you a handicap. <laughs> I might have said that just to make you feel better, after all. Aw, that's cold, Hitchan. I took a glance at the clock of the wall and realized I spent far longer playing Risk than I expected. Sorry, I think I have to go. I want to go to the library. It's not closed yet, is it? Shizune scratches her head and gestures at Misha. How hard can it be to determine what the library is home? There's a clock right there on the wall. I guess we'll find out just how hard it is to decipher that in the next episode. <laughs>